Welcome back. I'm Gareth Edwards. Great to have you with us this uh, Friday morning. The Gift of the Givers has expressed its gratitude after a postage stamp was released to recognize the Foundation's contribution to national and international relief efforts. The uh, SA Post Office taking recommendations from members of the public. Well, let's speak to the man who's uh, on the receiving end of this, a very busy man, I can assure you as well. It's uh, Imtiaz Suleiman, Director of Gift of the Givers. Imtiaz, morning to you. We often have a chance to talk about it, but it's about the relief efforts you're involved with. Finally, something for you guys to, to look at. Yes, you know, it's been a great announcement. It also shows that we have huge South African support because this was by public submission, approved by cabinet and parliament. It just re-endorses the fate of the government and the media and the country in our efforts, which means, of course, we get more support to help more people in distress in this country, in the continent, and all over the world. Uh, it's, it's a postage stamp, and people will wonder, well, why that of all the recognitions in the world? But as you say, it's very tangible for people to be able to see it uh, and be able to understand what it is that you do. And, and for people who might not be as familiar with the background of Gift of the Givers, how long has it taken you to reach the sort of status that you have now? 20 years. You know, on, on 6th August 1992 was our inception. 6th August this year is 21 years. So it's, and the last five or six years have been very significant. I know it, it took time in the beginning, it was assumed it to be a Muslim only organization. Over the last five or six years, people have seen that we are purely humanitarian, that we work with all groups, that all groups are part of our team, everybody works with us. And you know, we have no political agenda, we are purely humanitarian, and our aim is to help people and save lives. International recognition as well often comes from uh, governments from outside of the country. You've been involved with a few of the projects uh, outside of our borders, and I think it's important to recognize that. If you had to look back, particularly maybe over the last five, six years, uh, as you mentioned, how important those were, what has been the hardest for Gift of the Givers to try and manage? All of them had different type of challenges, I must say. Each one is different, you know, but the end result is the same, that you need to get in. And I think in most cases, the biggest problem is how do you help so many people in such a short space of time with so few resources? You go to an earthquake, there's 250,000 people dead. You need to go to the buildings to try to find as many people alive in the rubble as possible. Of course, you're not the only team there. There's teams from all over the world. We all face with the same problems. And then you have millions of people who are hungry, who are cold, who have no shelter, who need medical care. How do you get, and the most difficult decision is, how do you decide which area you mm. serve and which area do you leave out? You, know, you play God, unfortunately, and say, okay, I will work in Houghton and I won't work in Senton. That kind of issue. But the other, f the flip side is, if you save one life, you save one life. So we're going realistically, knowing we can't save everybody, but we know we can save somebody. So we use that attitude in every disaster. Almost 21 years ago, I imagine it started as, as an idea, a conceptualization, and a very small group. Give me an idea of the network that you're now involved with. It's, it's not just you and a few of your uh, members from Gift of the Givers. You have an expansive network uh, that goes around the continent. No, it goes around the world. You know, the good thing about, well, it's such a good thing, the good thing of disaster is when you go to another area, you always meet people from other countries. Mm. And, and through media, through visiting, through write-ups, people contact you. And the more people know about you, the more they write to you. And inevitably, whenever a disaster happens, somebody from that country knows you, or somebody from that country lives in this country. South Africa is so you know, multinational now. And in, in the last few, really, the last few missions, people from those countries were living here, and they came with us. They speak the language. They know the area. So it makes it much easier. But of course, we have a massive network. We have 60 permanent staff. We have our own search and rescue teams. We have our own medical teams. We have, we have our own specialized equipment. We have relationships with governments. We have relationships with people all over the world. So it's just growing and growing. Uh, very briefly, just as we begin to wrap up, uh, when is this little postage step going to come? I know I asked you off air if you had one. You don't have one yet. Not even you, the director, has one. When is it coming out? When can people get it? It's well, 11 o'clock this morning. It'll be unveiled, and soon after, it'll be available through, through, through the post office. Oh, well done. I think you deserve it, certainly. Well, uh, Gifts of the Givers Director, MTR Suleiman, joining us. It's uh, certainly a bit of recognition for what the group does. Uh, the post office releasing a stamp later this morning, uh, recognizing uh, the work by Gift of the Givers.